Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to down and install Canon printer drivers onto your Windows 11 computer. So if you have various Canon printers, so this tutorial will apply for pretty much every Canon printer that they make, and this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to head over to google.com. You want to first, before you do anything, make sure you have your printer already set up. So if you need to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi settings, you, if your printer has that capability, you want to make sure you enter that in before you proceed with this tutorial. Make sure you also have the instruction manual nearby. And if not, we will be going through um, how to locate all of these materials through the Canon website. But generally speaking, you kind of want to have it out of the box before you set all this up. So anyway, back to the tutorial here. We're going to start by heading over to Google, and you want to just go ahead and search for Canon printer drivers. Just search for it. And one of the best results should be from a Canon domain here. So you can see it's regionalized for us, but in your case, it might be just the international version, which is fine. So you can go ahead and search for your product in this list right up in this field, or you can also search by product type. So cameras, you see that you got scanners, printers, for cetera. For example, so you select printers, you can go ahead and search for your make and model a printer. So you got your Maxify, Pixma, Ivy, that sort of thing. And if you go back, you can also view different scanners here too. So the Canon, you also be able to order different ink as well. Magenta, cyan, yellow, black ink, various products. You can get them third party as well, but you can order Canon ink as well through their website. But anyway, let's say we know exactly what printer we want to download, and let's say it's a Pixma printer. So I'm just going to actually go type into this field up here at the top, Pixma MG5225 I'm going to go ahead and just select that from this list. And what I'm going to do, you can see you have underneath drivers and downloads, you have a ton of information here. Before we start over there, I guess, you can see specifications as to information about the printer as well as you see the drivers and downloads which we're going to be heading to in a moment. Different manuals that I was speaking about, you can definitely download the manual here. It might not be a bad idea to have a hold of that. Also view different how-to videos, so definitely you know a nice feature to have. But anyway, we're going to go back to the drivers and downloads tab here. If you need to change your operating system, you can. Otherwise, you can see it automatically should detect it. And we're going to select the recommended files here, so the full driver and software package. Most Canon drivers do have full driver and software packages. Some do not. Some say you already have them on your computer or you don't need any, so you just would connect it to your computer physically with a USB connection, or you just would add a device like a Bluetooth printer and it would just detect it automatically. This would be through the Windows settings, by the way. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and select the full driver and software package, and we're going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to select the red download button. So go ahead and left click on that. And give it a moment to download. Depending on what web browser you're using, it's going to look a little bit different in the download process. But generally speaking, however you would open up any normal file is how you would open this up. So we're going to go ahead and we see our file has been downloaded. We can go ahead and actually show it in the folder or you can just love going at one time to open it up. It's not too big. It's only about 47 megabytes in size, so not too large. And you can also close out of the web browser too at this time. And now that we have the installer on our desktop, I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to run it. I should say it's in my downloads folder, but essentially, you know, for all intents and purposes, it was pretty easily accessible was my point. So anyway, user account control, make sure it says Canon IJ Online Master Setup. It should be a verified publisher, Canon Inc. Now, you know what, depending on what type of printer you're downloading, it might say slightly different words here. It might not say Online Master Setup, but it should definitely say verified publisher, Canon Inc. So go ahead and select yes, and you can close out of that other window we had open. So just give it a moment to begin the process here. And you can see Pixma MG2500 series, and you could just swap this out basically with any of the other printer names that you might be downloading for, for your Canon product. So this is starting the software installation, follow the on-screen instructions. If you need to change the language, you can select the language button, and you can see we have a couple of choices here. Some of the other Canon printers software packages I think have more languages than just English and Spanish, but pretty straightforward. And once we are ready, we're going to go ahead and select Next.
And you can see a software installation list. You can customize this. You don't have to keep them all checkmarked here. It'll obviously affect how much space it's going to use. This one's going to take up about uh, one and a half to two gigabytes in space, but some of them will take up more than others. And you can customize what you want to download. So if you just want to download drivers, you can. Install the user manual, my printer, image garden, quick menu, and easy web printx. You can view different information about each of these items by just hovering over them. So the drivers, that should be pretty self-explanatory. They are necessary to print documents and scan images. User manual explains how to use the machine and supply its offer. Troubleshooting information is also provided. You need Internet Explorer 8 or later, which I don't think should be a problem for anybody running Windows XP or newer. Uh, my printer. So it helps resolve printing problems such as smudged printing. You also have My Image Garden, which will allow you to import photos and use them to create and print personalized items such as collages, cards, and calendars. You can also print borderless photos and correct enhanced images with simple steps. Use together with Quick Menu to generate recommendations from saved photos. You also have the Quick Menu here which will allow you to access websites which provide useful information about your can and product, or helpful websites which support various uses and more. Use together with My Image Garden to activate image display in which you can display recommendations and photos in a slideshow. And then finally, you also have Easy Web PrintX, which allows you to cut portions of web pages and print them in your own layout. It appears on your browser as a handy toolbar. So you probably can uncheck it, honestly, but it says Internet Explorer 7 or later is required. So you can tell how old this printer's probably been around for, honestly. So I'm actually going to uncheck that last option, but you can do that. You don't really use toolbars too much anymore, and most browsers don't even let you actually um, install toolbars. So, you know, that's kind of gone the way of the dinosaur, and I don't even, Internet Explorer isn't even on this version of Windows 11, so um, I don't even know if it actually would do anything. So... Pretty straightforward, and we're going to go ahead and select Next. And then you have an end user license agreement. You normally do want you to just look through it, make sure you agree with everything in here, and then you would select Yes. And then it's going to ask, you know, to please allow any, you know, installation processes to be allowed through your antivirus or firewall, perhaps. And it gives you a few of the common messages like Permit, Allow, Yes, and Unblock. And then once you've agreed to that, you're going to go ahead and select Next. And then it will begin the process here. You see our custom installation when we remove that web toolbar. It's about 329 megabytes. So it will take some time to run, obviously depending on your internet connectivity speed. So just give it a moment here.
Okay, so at this point, just for continue on with the installation settings, you'd actually have to have the printer hooked up and turned on. Again, follow along with whatever the on-screen prompts at this point are, but that's pretty straightforward. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.